So TMZ's got their hands on the video footage of inside Diddy's home after it was raided by Homeland Security. Not only that, Diddy's breaking his silence about yesterday's raids, referring to it as a witch hunt. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So we've covered a lot of this Diddy situation since it broke yesterday. If you've been under a rock, Diddy's home in Los Angeles and in Miami were raided by Homeland Security. This was all in connection to an investigation that was prompted by the Southern District of New York, the same district that investigated countless people, but most recently Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw, who's currently locked up. <laughs> I say all that to say we already have been covering a lot when it comes to Diddy. He's facing multiple civil suits with damning accusations. He settled his Cassie lawsuit uh, allegedly for multiple figures after her 35-page lawsuit triggered a lot of people and reminded a lot of people of rumors that Sean Diddy Combs is a monster. So according to TMZ, they've got their hands on the actual footage inside of Diddy's home, his, his Los Angeles home specifically. They said the Army of Federal Law Enforcement officers did a number on Diddy's L.A. home and the video shows clearly the mansion was turned upside down. TMZ obtained the footage out of the aftermath of Monday's raid on Diddy's Homeby Hills. Drawers were ripped open. Belongings scattered about, documents strewn about, and safes broken into. Agents had a field day with Diddy's electronic equipment. You see pieces of computer and other equipment in pieces on the floor. It's clear agents zeroed in on hard drives, which were seized during the raid. So as I said to you before, Diddy is now speaking out, but I do want to show you a little bit of the footage if we can, so you can see what exactly transpired during the raid so our friends over at the neighborhood talk posted this on their instagram account so i want to share with you it, they really ripped through diddy's la home they did not care about anything i've never been through a raid i did not expect that they would be nice with the things but apparently they were looking for something specifically but i've said this before and i said this on on tuesday takeover diddy has been under the spotlight ever since this cassie lawsuit Anything that may be suspicious, I am going to assume, but maybe not. Maybe, you know, crooks are dumb, but I'm going to assume anything that would incriminate him, he has destroyed, gotten rid of, sent to some other place, maybe via his private jet that landed in Antigua. A lot of people are wondering, so if the private jet's there and he's in Miami, who was on the private jet and why was it in, in Antigua? Well, TMZ did report that it looked not the power of now, he got nerve. I'm sorry, I looked at it and I looked at the power of now. It's such a great book. And I'm like, the things that he's accused of. You see all the, all the things. So apparently he was supposed to go away with his children for spring break. This is why he was at the Miami airport, but they were at the L.A. home. Well, at least Christian and, and Justin were. Look at him. Wow. Honestly, though, based on looking at this video footage, I'm sort of saying to myself, yes, they did a number on the home. But at the same time, was the home clean in general? Because it, it kind of feels as if it wasn't that clean. But you just never know. So if people are pulling out your things and throwing them everywhere. It can make your home look dirty. Anyway, so Diddy is speaking out amid these the allegations that are coming out. As you know, because of the Cassie situation, it opened a whole kind a can of worms when it comes to accusations that Diddy has faced and multiple lawsuits that he's now facing about past bad behavior. So this is what Diddy said in a statement from via his attorney. He says, yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force. Keep in mind, we talked a little bit about this earlier. They had helicopters. They had like 30 to 40 agents going in and out of the home in his Miami location. They had military moving up by water to his home. 
which made people think, what is going on? What exactly are they looking for? Well, again, some of the issues that are, are being discussed in these lawsuits are issues of abuse, but also trafficking. So Diddy's attorney says this. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. So if you saw any reports that Diddy was arrested, those reports are false. Okay. It should also be noted, not saying that this is proper pro protocol, but what we've seen in regards to other you know, raids, unfortunately, people that are in the house normally are detained in a way that Christian and Justin and the employees, Diddy's employees were detained in handcuffs. All right. So despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. So we talked about this earlier. I said, well, he hasn't been arrested. I'm pretty sure they didn't take his passport. Sidebar, you know, I was talking about Russell Simmons a little bit earlier today. I heard that Russell Simmons was served in Bali. So Russell thought he could go to Bali and avoid all the allegations and charges and lawsuits that he was facing. And apparently not. Apparently not. So they, they remind us, despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to, to travel have been, uh, been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence. That was something else that we reported earlier today that apparently even before the feds showed up, apparently there were already media helicopters coming in. So someone got tipped off. So they said the coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. Civil lawsuits, not one. They said there has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. It should be noted that Cassie's 35 page lawsuit that showed 10 years of alleged abuse was settled within 24 hours of it being released. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. And this was a statement from Aaron, Aaron Dyer, Diddy's attorney. Well, look, as our country likes to say and believe, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty, but there is a lot of damning information against Sean Diddy Combs that has spanned years. And it seems as if now all of that information is coming to fruition. We're going to continue to follow the story because it seems that, it, as Diddy used to say, can't stop, won't stop, the information and the downfall of Diddy continues. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on the statement from Sean Diddy Combs and what we got to see in regards to Homeland Security and how they tossed and turned everything in Diddy's LA home. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.